I sifted a bit of this compost yesterday. <coughs> I need to completely finish it because, as you can see, this one is stuffed right full. And I need a bin to put new compost material in. I mentioned my sifter in her earlier video, but that was before I had the human element working. I had a table saw that gave out, and I needed to buy a new one. I kept the stand for it and come spring I was trying to find out how to make it easier to sift the compost and also ordering a bin up a, a sifter for a compost up and just shaking it you risk injuring your back as well so this is the stand from the table saw and what I've got done I've cut the upper part of the angle iron on this edge and this edge which gives me a channel and this orange is some Teflon I had in the shop that I think originally was on the runners of a sled that you told behind a skidoo. So I cut two pieces off and put it there. Then this is four pieces of rough sawn one by five I believe it is and two old handles that I had that I don't know where they come from. So this, let's see if I change my old on this camera. Fits directly in that channel. When I have the compost in it, I can just take it and push it back and forth like that to sift through the compost. On the bottle, that's half inch hardware cloth, they call it. That's what, of course, holds it in its proper rectangle shape. <laughs> and I'm going to have to replace these on either side. They're starting to break. I got a piece of wood put around so that I've got the smooth bottom and the hardware cloth is not oaking in the Teflon. So that's my setup for sifting the compost. After I get this compost sifted, I'm going to spread it along where the peas are put by the front fence. And maybe there by where the garlic was growing poorly as well. Those are new areas that has never been a garden before. And now it will end up being what they call a lasagna garden area. But because I have a layer of cardboard down, and then a layer of composted wood chips, 
layer of metal clippings on top of that and now I'll have a layer of sifted compost on top of that. you get the idea. So here's your original compost with all its big on compost pieces, some sticks, lumps, egg shells that are not yet composted. And here it is. And sift it out. So I'm going to take some of this now and spread it along by the peas that I've planted by the front fence. This is where I started laying it out yesterday. There. Here's the outside of the fence. That's my small sunflowers there. I have those that might flower for me. The guy that always grows sunflowers in uh, Brown's arm. These sunflowers are no bigger than this one here yet so I assume I've got plenty of time to get uh, sunflowers both off that one and the uh, short ones out front. Now I'll lay out some more. <coughs> I've got a full large wheelbarrow load here from what I just sifted out. Pull out the weeds.
So, that's for that rubber load. Now, as I said, there is cardboard on the bottom, which are getting fairly decomposed by now, I would say. A four inch layer of wood chips. I put on a two inch or three inch layer of grass clippings, which has settled down. And now it's a two inch layer of compost. For what they're growing in the peas are doing very good. Next year they'll do so much better and of course every year after that as I continue to amend this bed. We'll have a bed along the fence and the fence will be used as a trellis for peas and sunflowers is my plan. And I might be uh, also setting beans there as well. It's another day. I had a good night's sleep last night, so I had the stamina this morning to finish sifting out the compost. This first bed bin, that is. By the time I get the other bin sifted out, I'll have enough. When we get a storm again, I can layer in a couple loads of kelp from the shore. Now that's looking nice. The first four layers of a lasagna style gardening bed. Before the growing season's out, I'll have a, another layer of clippings from mowing the meadow on top of that. So that'll be it for this video. Live green and be nature. I'll be posting again soon.